all right y'all what's up what's going on yo my legs are freaking spent bro <laughs> i just got done with this ftp test so i'll talk about that in a little bit but i'm going to ride these new dt swiss um made a few changes on the lay i got the dt swiss on there i also changed the uh, pulley wheel i got the ceramic speed on there and i'm just gonna see what these 62 mil feel like and just spin the legs for a second and uh, just wrap it y'all man so let's get on this bike and see what's going on as stated i just got done with this ft ftp test right and bro i can't tell you that i am very happy with my new ftp bro before uh my ftp was it was 225 and man i was kind of disappointed at that from before because before the 225 my ftp was uh 218 and when i took the test last year dude i thought from 218 i thought i was gonna crush bro i just thought my ftp was gonna be a lot higher than it was and it <laughs> it wasn't but 225 was higher than 218 so i mean i couldn't really complain and it's a whole bunch of wind out here today i hope this mic picks up uh my audio pretty well but anyway so i was on 225 i sat there for a year this year i felt pretty good about my fitness i felt like my ftp was going to be man i was i was hoping that it was at least in the 30s like 235 or so that's what i was really really hoping because like just from the way i've been riding right and i would say not so much like i've been getting stronger but i've just been really understanding my fitness my bike fit and like my bike knowing when to go when not to go uh when i can use power when not to use power and how to use power efficiently because before it was like i can make some decent power when i say decent on any given day regardless how i feel i can jump out the saddle and knock out you know 11 1200 watts you know and if i'm feeling really good I could probably get to the like 1300 watts. Here's this little roller up here. And like I said, man, my legs feel, <laughs> they feel pretty toast, man, but I kind of like this little rolling heel. So I'm gonna throw out some, a little bit of power and just see where it's at and climb this joint. Well, ain't that crazy. I just dropped the damn chain coming off that joint. <laughs> that is interesting. Um, dropped the chain. And I put out 1367 power. Wow. I've never dropped a chain on a narrow wide chain ring hmm interesting all right a few moments later and if i'm feeling really really good i would say like high 13 maybe in the 14 and the most power i ever made on the bike was uh i want to say it was like 15 33 that was the best that was the most power i ever put out so but that's all out the saddle power, right? I really wasn't good at making power in the saddle and I'm not a climber, but I've been really working on my seated power, being able to make power, hold power, and just uh, just being efficient on the bike. I don't even know if they are paying attention to me. No, they're just looking around. <laughs> but based off of um, just that right there, you know, 
uh, how I've been riding and the power I've been making in the saddle, I was like, man, my FTP's got to be higher than, than it was, right? And I'll probably do an overlay because uh, I did film my FTP test like the last like minute or so of it uh, so you can kind of see. And it's always kind of like kind of nerve-wracking because like, dude, I don't know why I'm just so nervous when I'm taking this test. You know, and I'm taking a thousand FTP tests, right? But I don't know, every, every time it's still like I just get a little nervous on there. I'm just like, oh my goodness, right? You know, my heart's racing and then I'm doing a ramp test. So it goes up, um, I forget how much, like 20 or 40 watts every minute. So I'm looking at it and I'm like, yo, I know I got to get to like this 300, 320-ish mark in order to get a good average. And then as you're doing the ramp test, you can actually see you know the average ramping up and i'm just like oh my goodness you know i'm just so freaking <laughs> you know worried about it and watching it and then once you get done regardless where you're at because you know your average might be like 290 something you know 300 but then it stops and you gotta wait for it to be like yo i'm toast and then it tells you what your new ftp is but as stated it jumped out to 242 and I'm really happy about that, bro. I feel like that's an accurate number. Last year, when I had the 225, I just kind of felt like I just felt like I was stronger than that, bro. I really did. But um, I guess it was accurate then because how I'm riding now versus how I was riding last year, yeah, I can definitely see a, a 242 as far as that, you know that threshold that estimated threshold power uh for an hour so now is ftp necessarily important um yes and no right <laughs> for your local p personnel that you're hanging out with and your buddies you know maybe for some bragging rights i guess but I think out of all the people I ride with, I probably got the lowest FTP, so ain't too much bragging going on there. So I would say in that aspect, no, nah, it's not really important, right? Now for um, training, yes, FTP is very, very important. And the reason why is because without that FTP, you know, what, what are your zones? You know what I'm saying? Everything is just kind of like... It's just estimated, bro. You don't really know what you're doing. Damn, the wind is crazy right now, bro. <laughs> like I said, I hope my little windscreen on my mic is doing what it's supposed to do. But anyway, yeah, FTP is important for them zones, right? And one of the things I was thinking about, I was like, damn, now that my FTP just then went up, shit, what? almost 20 watts now i gotta update all my stuff all my training is about to be harder bro so don't suck man because i was looking at my zone two i think my new zone tune is like 130 to like 185 or something like that oh it's gonna suck. it's gonna suck but it's part of the process um it keep you honest keep you going keep you motivated so about to jump on this main road real quick but yeah um also quick touch on these these dt swiss um the 62s they are feeling pretty damn good bro and uh i got the 28s on here with the tpu tubes usually i ride 32s so i was wondering like what I like the ride feel, but so far the ride feel is not bad. And even though it's crazy windy out here, it really ain't that bad, bro. It is really not that bad. Um, I mean, I ain't going fast. I ain't doing nothing but like 12 miles an hour. I got this slight incline. But once I kind of crest the top of this hill, I'll pick up a little speed and kind of see but I wasn't planning on smashing the pedals anyway. I'm just kind of just chilling 
like I said, dude, that FTP test had me spent, bro. My legs was on fire. After the test, I did like, I think they give you a cool down. It's like 10 minutes at 75 watts. I did that. Hopped off the bike for about 15 minutes. And my body cooled down. And I was like, hey, let me hop on this delay and uh, film something to talk about it. So, but yeah, bro. Uh, for those of you that have not taken the FTP test, I highly recommend you taking one. I think it's just a dope experience. That way you kind of know what it feels like. Uh, you can have this conversation with some of your buddies. And then if you want to get into training, you'll be able to outline your specific zones. And I think it's just also just good just to know. Just so you got that data, you know. You might be on the bike. You cruising one day, you feel like you're giving a lot of effort. You can look down at that power meter and kind of have an idea like, oh damn, I'm over or under my FTP. I just think it's good information to have. But, uh, and also, man, if you are liking the content, please consider subscribing to the channel, man. And if you found this video helpful or entertaining or anything, hey, please drop a comment, drop a like. And uh, that's all I got for y'all, man. I'll catch you on the next one. This is your boy, Mr. Rob Armstrong, and I am out.